I am so frustrated with my husband watching porn. That's the topic today. This is Dr. Don Michael with Bedroom Talk. From my bedroom to yours. So this is a problem that many women talk about and uh, many men talk about going on in their relationship. And that's the idea of pornography causing a problem in the marriage. So this is not something that is likely to go away, and it is something that we need to deal with. So working with couples that have issues with pornography, we really need to break it down into why is he watching pornography? Is it because he is not having sex as often as he used to, and basically supplementing that as a way to masturbate? That happens in a lot of relationships. Does he have some fantasies that he's filling out, you know, fulfilling while he's watching the pornography that maybe he doesn't feel comfortable talking with his wife about? That's another issue. Also, it can be that he just doesn't want to deal with sex. He just wants a quick release to watch someone on the screen having sex and basically, you know, that is easier than trying to initiate sex in the relationship. A lot of men um, who I counsel, they say one of the big problems that they have in the marriage is either they're always initiating sex and they're getting tired of doing so, or they're you know, kind of bored sometimes with the sex in the relationship. They would you know, rather be having sex with their wives, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's not as exciting as they want and they feel that they're not able to get their wife to open up to more exciting sex. So they're turned to pornography. Another reason could be a sexual fetish that um, they're not able to explore with their wife or simply that it was part of their sexual routine that they had before they got married. This is usually the case for most men, especially nowadays, is the fact that they have been watching pornography before they ever got into the relationship and it's really basically a part of their sexual pattern. So how does a wife deal with this when she feels like perhaps self-conscious or that he is taking time away from her and instead watching pornography on the screen? I believe that's really where it becomes a problem is when there's a breakdown in the marriage when sex is not good, they're not able to work on the sex, so instead he's using porn. And many times a couple will come to me with the idea that, oh, he has a sex addiction or a porn addiction. And the reality is that's kind of a scapegoat excuse for what the real problem is. And the real problem is that the sex in the relationship is not fulfilling or he's having problems with his erection or he's having problems with arousal or the frequency. Those are usually the main issues that come out in counseling. So if you do get your husband cheating, as you may say by watching porn, um, ask him what he's watching. Ask him if you can sit down and watch the porn with him. I did a couple of surveys and that was one of the questions that I asked, you know, if your wife came in and she saw you watching porn, what would you want her to do? And many of the men said, well, sit down and watch it with me. And in fact, when asked another question, would you rather be watching porn or having great sex with your wife? Again, it was, I'd rather be having great sex with my wife, but that's not always the case. So when you first met, most couples work on the sex in the relationship. And by no means am I putting this on either the man or the woman because this can equally happen in a relationship where the couples don't work on the sex. And it either becomes a chore or boring or you have kids, you're tired. And these are all real life situations. I mean, we all go through that at some time or another. But the idea that sex is always put on the back burner is not okay. Because you choose to be married to that person, 
meaning that you choose to be their only sexual outlet, their only sexual partner. So if you're not there, then a habit that they had long before they met you, they're going to continue to do, which is watching pornography. The rea reality of the situation is pornography are people that are actors. They are acting out a scene. They happen to be naked. They happen to have sex. But the reality is they are actors and they are experienced with what they're doing. And so you have a lot of the information, the education, so on and so forth, that people are actually getting from watching pornography, which is not real life. I mean, it is a show that people are watching. It is not real life. So the next time that you may feel that you have um, to confront your husband, Sit down and have a conversation with him. Ask him, you know, what can we do to make our sex life more exciting? What are some ideas that you have? These are some ideas that I have. Let's work on it together. And uh, if you need to get help, go see a counselor. I see clients all the time to help them improve their sex life, give them new ideas. I mean, we don't always have that information at our fingertips. And believe me, the longer you're married, the more uncomfortable it can get maybe asking your spouse to try something new. So if you need help, get it. But make sex a priority. Make your relationship a priority. Make the intimacy a priority. Don't focus on the fact that the porn is the problem because most of the time it's not. It simply is a scapegoat to what the real problem is. Everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life, and so do you.